Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, the last video, I told you that this video was going to be a haul, and it is, but as I was getting all the products that I had, been like saving up for this video together, I realized that I had way too much stuff for one video, so I'm going to split it into two. Um, so this haul will be more of the high-end products that I got from Sephora and Ulta. Um, there are some drugstore products in here or just more affordable stuff like ColourPop, but I just included that in this video because the next video is going to be more affordable products or products that I had purchased from TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and like those kinds of stores. Um, while this is more not like expensive but you know Sephora is expensive but it's just more high-end more um, like I went to the store and I bought this stuff like I wasn't just searching for random stuff at TJ Maxx so I'm gonna go ahead and get into this haul I'm really excited I've been waiting so 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 long um, to film this video I literally have been saving up products for months like I have had stuff sitting here since the summer so I'm really excited to finally get to play with it and share it with you guys so let's go ahead and get into the video and see what I got so I think we're gonna start off with what I got from Sephora just cuz I didn't get as much from Sephora um, as I did like Ulta and then I also ordered from Colourpop um, I really only go to Sephora when I save up money to buy like a certain um, product or if I have like a birthday or something, holidays. So that's when I really go to Sephora. So I did get some stuff though as a reward for making it through my CNA class. We don't need the paper. So the first thing in here is this Cover FX illuminating primer this is my all-time favorite primer I um, just picked this up last week though because they had it on sale for $19 and that is such a steal for this primer um, this primer is so good I just talked about it in my last video I really do love this primer um, it just gives your skin the prettiest glow and I'm really excited that I was able to get it while it was on sale because I'm not going to spend $40 on it because I'm cheap. Um, and then so the next product I got from Sephora is this Huda Beauty um, Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade Flirt. So for the fall or just like I don't know I guess I'm going through a phase where I've been into like really pretty brownie nudes and more brown colors. And I was picking up that primer and then this shade really spoke to me. I thought it was so pretty. I just love shades like this right now um, during the fall. They really just go with so many things and I think they're such like those browns are so so pretty. Um, so I also got oh yo I'm so excited for this. I have been wanting this product for so long. This is the Tatcha um, luminous dewy skin mist now I did get the um, mini size of this like just cuz I mean I'm cheap I don't know <laughs> there's no excuse for it I'm just really cheap I mean I'm on a budget so when I go to Sephora I mean I'm not there to like drop a thousand dollars or anything like I can barely drop a hundred dollars so um, but I've been wanting to try this for so long. So this is the little glass bottle. Um, it's really cute. It's not as big as the full size. But I wanted to test it out to see how I liked it. So that you know when my birthday does roll around in about a month. That I know if I would want to spend the money on the full size or not. So I'm really excited to try this out. I don't think I've tried anything else out from Tatcha. So that will be the first thing. I also got the Benefit California Blush Mini. It's that really pretty um, coral shade with the gold reflex. I'm really excited about that. Um, so I only have four more products, but 
they're good ones so i got the farsali unicorn essence drops um it's a serum but you know you see every like you see these all over instagram and youtube as people using it as a primer um which is why i wanted to get it i'm excited to finally literally three months of waiting to test this out and i'm really 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 excited let's just keep a chugging along i don't want this video to be too long i i love haul videos but i also don't want to bore you guys since i'm not using the products but the next thing i got from sephora is this natasha denona blush and glow duo um natasha denona has been coming out with like many sizes of her bigger products and it is a true blessing so this one was 20 it's really cute it has it says it on the packaging it is the highlight powder in number one and then the blush is golden coral i think this is so like i think this is really cute i know natasha did notice eyeshadows are really really good they're really pigmented and creamy so i'm hoping that it is the same with these I can finally go ahead and put my finger in it oh yeah I don't know if you can see it's just a really pretty natural sheen and then the blush I think is gonna be very much the same very natural really pretty a little bit of reflectiveness to the blush which I don't mind but I'm super excited to have a Natasha Denona face product so the main thing I wanted when I went to Sephora like back in August um, was this gradient sunlit bronzer by Becca Kathleen lights raved about this bronzer she said it was so pretty um, they have two shades I think the other one is sunrise waves or something like that but since I am a more of a medium skin complexion, I got the darker one, which is Sunset Waves. So this is what the bronzer looks like. It, on the sides, it has the little pops of the rose gold highlighter, and then the middle has the three shades of bronzer. When she used it, it just gave her the most beautiful, natural, like, bronzy glow. And I was like, yes, I have to have that bronzer. So I picked it up literally three months ago. So I'm finally going to be able to use it. And I know it's not summer, but I love being glowy um, in the winter. I just think it is just such a pretty look when everything like is dry and dull and you just look vibrant and fresh. And then the last product that I have from Sephora is these. Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. I got it in the shade Lolita. There's a girl who I follow. Her name's like Anais or Anais Riviera. And she uses Lolita all the time. And it just is such a pretty shade. I had to go get it. Um, she does so many looks with it. And so I'll swatch this one as well. I mean, I know Lolita is such an OG color, so most of you probably know what it looks like. But if you don't, here is a swatch of it. It's just a really pretty, um, I don't even know how to describe the color. But it's gorgeous. And I don't really think I have a color like this. I really don't. So I'm excited to play with this and, you know, finally be able to create some looks with it. So that is everything I got from Sephora. I'm just going to throw it in the bag and then we'll move on to the rest of the video, which is more from Ulta. Okay, we're back. I put all the Sephora stuff away and now I have this bag that is full of stuff. Um, this is a mixture of stuff um, from the Ulta sale, like back, back in the day, like 21 Days of Beauty Ulta sale. Um, so that's from the Ulta sale, just random things that I've been picking up here and there. And then also I placed an order for um, ColourPop during their, I literally don't know, Labor Day sale, Memorial Day sale, whatever sale, whatever holiday was that just passed like in August. That what they had like a huge sale and so I had to go pick up some stuff that I had been wanting from ColourPop for so long. 
so that is in this bag too but let's go ahead and see what I got from Ulta in Colourpop. So I have a few palettes in here. Um, the first palette that I have is the Maybelline Lemonade Craze palette. Um, I know this palette was a huge hit when it came out like at the end of the summer and I've had it literally since it came out. I rushed to Ulta and bought it and I have not opened it. I haven't used it. I haven't swatched it. So I'm wanting to use it in a video here soon. I mean, it has like some summer colors, but I think that I can make a really pretty fall look with it. And it just has really pretty shades. I don't know. Let me see if I can open it. So these are the shades. I mean, I think Sweet Tea is really pretty. I think you can make a really pretty shade from this sugar coated shade right here, which is an orangey bronze color. So I'm really excited to finally be able and play with this palette. The next thing in the bag is another palette. This is from ColourPop. So this is the Kathleen Lights and ColourPop Dream Street Palette. And Lord have mercy, have I wanted this palette for probably since it, for, I don't know, it's probably been out a year, been wanting it since then. But I don't know, like, I guess, I only really order online from companies online when they have a sale like they have like 25% off and then I just went wild only spent 50 to get the free shipping but they had like a good sale I mean this wasn't on sale but I was able to get other things that made it worth it so but these are the shades in the palette I think this palette is like gorgeous she did such a great job with this palette, she does a good job with all her collabs with ColourPop. I have so many looks in store with this palette, you'll definitely see it in a video here soon. So, love that palette. The next thing in the bag is this ColourPop Super Shock Highlighter and On the Cusp. This is also a Kathleen Lights collab. I really do love Kathleen Lights. She's one of the people I've been watching since I started getting into makeup. She's still someone I watch religiously. I watch all her videos and so I gotta go support my girl. But it is, I've never tried the Super Shock highlighters. So it is a really pretty champagne shade. Oh my god. It has the coolest texture. But that is a swatch of it right there. Again, this I love these shades. I think they go really good with my skin color. It's kind of like the one I'm wearing right now. Um, and I also heard you have to shut these really, really tight or they'll dry out. So I'll make sure I did that. <laughs> I got a lot of highlighters now that I look in this bag. Um, the next thing I got from ColourPop is this No Filter Setting Powder. I've been wanting to try out a new translucent powder for a hot minute. I think the last one I got was like in my Ipsy a while ago. So I picked this one up. It was on sale for literally I think like $4, maybe less than that. So I went ahead and got it. It just has the sifter. I've heard great things about this powder. So I was glad I could get it while it was on sale. Um, so the next thing I got from ColourPop is the another Kathleen Lights collab. It's the Dream Team uh, lip bundle. I, When I was on the website, they ran out of, or they were out of stock of Moonchild, which is the gloss that I really wanted. Um, I get a lot of my recommendations from YouTubers, so this, this is a shout out to Juicy Jazz. She was raving about this gloss and how it's like the perfect new gloss. And it looked so good on her, so I had to pick it up, even though I had to buy the whole lip bundle. I'm pretty sure it was on sale, though. So it comes with Moonchild, and then two Ultra Satin Lippies as well. This one is in the shade Revere, and this one is in the shade Dreamy. Both are really, really pretty. This one is a little more orange than the shade I'm wearing right now, and this one is just a 
um, rosy nude. So this is the shade Dreamy and this is the shade Revere. Both gorgeous colors. And moving right along with the products. The last product, I'm pretty sure this is the last product I got from ColourPop. It's the No Filter Concealer. Again, I heard great things about this concealer. Um, and I really wanted to try it out. I got the shade medium 22, so I'm hoping that it's not too light for me. I think I'll be fine. The one that I really wanted was like medium 24, but they were out of stock of it. So I picked up medium 22 and I think it'll work fine. So I'm not worried. So moving on to the rest of the stuff, which is just from Ulta. I picked up some during the sale and then I picked up some when I just like stopped by Ulta periodically to look around at new stuff. Um, so ooh, I got a new foundation and been wanting to try a new foundation for the longest. I got this LA Girl Pro Coverage HD High Definition Longwear Illuminating Foundation. <laughs> Um, I heard great things about this from Juicy Jazz as well. She always raves about this um, foundation being great, affordable, and it wears well. Um, so I'm really excited to give this a try. I got the shade Nude Beige. It's hard to tell the color from the inside, so I hope that it matches me. Um, and so the next thing I got... This was from the Ulta sale. It was when the Dose of Color Glosses were on sale for 10 bucks. So I got this one. It is in Can You Not? And it is just a really pretty pale nude. I'm really glad I was able to pick this up. Um, and I can't wait to try it out. It looks like a really pretty shade. And I've been really in to like the nude, like really nude gloss lately. Um... So just have a few more items. I have, during the sale, I also picked up the Anastasia Brow Definer. I did have the Brow Wiz, but I ran out. And so I was like, oh, I'll just pick up the Brow Definer during the sale since I've never tried it out. And it just has that nice triangle tip on it. So I'm excited to try a new brow product. I've been stuck on my LA Girl um, oh my gosh, what is this called? The LA Girl Brow Pencil for so long, so I'm excited to be able to try out a new eyebrow pencil. Um, moving on to a little bit of highlight, I got the mini of the Laura Geller um, Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in Gilded Honey. I felt that I didn't have a lot of really golden highlights in my collection, so I wanted to go ahead and pick some up, so this was a great deal. Um, and you know, I'll probably never go through all of it, so I'll be fine. The next thing that I got, we're almost done, we're almost through it, are these two highlights from Ofra. I've never tried Ofra's highlights before, so when Alta had them on sale, I got two. I got Rodeo Drive and I got Pillow Talk, so both are super pretty. I did just find out that I'm getting this Rodeo Drive highlight in my Etsy Glam Bag Plus, so I'll probably just put that one in a giveaway, but this is just a really pretty light gold shade. Really excited to try this one out, and then I'm going to go ahead and show you Pillow Talk, which is the one I was really excited about. I love a good pinky highlight. I think they are so pretty. It's not really there. So you see it just has that light pink shift to it. So I'm really excited. I finally got to grab some Ofra highlighters. It was just, a lot of this is stuff I've been wanting to try for a really long time or I've been hurt raved about. So I picked a lot of it up and then I was just waiting and waiting and waiting to make a video. So the last item I got is the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette. I only picked up one of them so far. I do want all of them, but I wanted to see how this palette performed just because I heard so many mixed reviews about it. But you know, I picked this one up for fall. I thought it was really pretty. And it has great shades that it's just a really warm tone palette. 
has great shades um, to create a lot of fall looks with. And I don't have a warm foam palette at all in my collection actually. So um, this was the one I decided to pick up first to see how it is. Um, so I'm hoping that it's good because I do want all of them. I think they are so pretty. The color like families in them are just, they're really, really good and I hope they work. But so yeah, yeah, that's I all I have for this haul. So stay tuned for the next one. I'm really excited to show you guys some more stuff that I got and you know, it's a miracle that I finally made this video. But thank you so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.